it's like like listening to Florence is like this is this is too much to to even think about this is what she went through right and she also talked about that form of abuse where you're the one who's just catering for everything right and when it comes to the law like where where then do you categorize this before we talk to uh, before we talk to Marion you know I'm listening to uh, Florence's story mm -hmm. and for me I would be more concerned with um, the man mm -hmm. claiming that they are married mm -hmm. yes. you see it's not just one-sided yeah it's it two sided, be, it yes. Be both. So yeah. as Florence has said, she was the one who was catering for most of Everything. the finances. Yeah. And probably she acquired one or two things in that come with stay arrangement. Again, mm -hmm. I will say it's on an evidence basis. Mm -hmm. But you see, this man can also claim uh, when we were uh, when we were staying together and we had a child, we were married. And I helped mm -hmm. you with A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. so I'd like a share of our exactly. property exactly you see yes. so i'm listening to a story and i'm thinking it's a lot yes, yes. but this can we say are very uh, complicated it's not just the lady mm -hmm. i know most ladies are thinking now i am here i'm there even that man who is there mm -hmm. is also thinking now i'm here i'm the husband yeah mm -hmm. we can share in your property as long yes. as i prove i made a contribution let's say i drew i i took care of a farm Mm -hmm. or I was running the business as you at work. Yeah. Or, you know, such contributions, those situations are very, very tricky. You need to be very careful. As much as the lady can claim we are married, it's the same. Mm -hmm. A man Even can claim, can also claim we, are we are married. So yeah. for her situation, I'd be more concerned of her. The man claiming we are married, mm -hmm. and most of the things you acquired in this four-year period, mm -hmm. let us share yes. because I contributed in such and such a manner, you yeah. see? Mm -hmm. So these are things you, you need to be... And, and, and then, you know, the fact that uh, from let's say four years, mm -hmm. you know the constitution says um, property acquired mm -hmm. at, during, and at the ah. conclusion of, you see? Yes. So you'll be looking at all those things and thinking, what have I acquired when this man was there? Yes. And what can he claim he helped me uh, to do while I was trying to source for that this? That he can have access to, so like you see, it's, yes. when it comes to speaking and... So you see at the time, say Florence moved away yeah. and got another man. Now you can again say there would be a presumption of divorce. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. because uh, divorce, there's only two elements. Mm -hmm. It's intent, intent. Mm -hmm. Now this is where the intention comes. Yes. The intention was to leave you and to no longer cohabit with you and stay with you. You All see, right. and then there'll be the other element of conduct. Mm -hmm. You conduct yourself as an unmarried person. Mm -hmm. So we'd say for all intents and purposes, when Florence say, left that particular arrangement, mm -hmm. of course, evidence-based. When she left the particular arrangement, it would be a presumption of divorce mm -hmm. and she can proceed somewhere else. But you see, now the rights that have accrued during the four-year yes. period you lived with him, yes. it can go either way. So yeah. it needs to be, you need to be very careful as yes. you're entering in this Kamwiste arrangement. Yeah.